The Air Force is tearing down eight outdated 1960s era recruit housing and training dormitories at Joint Base San Antonio Lackland and replacing them with new, state of the art airmen training complexes. The old facilities are scattered around Joint Base San Antonio Lackland and are no longer practical for incoming Air Force basic trainees. Uh, basically, when you, you're the sons and daughters of our you know, America's families come down here. We do not want to put them in buildings with degrading infrastructure where we can't keep them air conditioned, the water doesn't work. Uh, and those are some of the problems we're experiencing today in our older facilities. The $900 million construction project, which includes an east and west campus, happens in two phases and will centralize the basic military training campuses by putting them side by side to make training for Air Force basic trainees more efficient. Uh, as you can see here on the drill pad, the PT pad is, is connected to our ATC, so again that cuts, you know, transiting across streets, uh, having to stop the flight, post road guards, and get them to where they need to be, when they can just come right out underneath the overhang and just form up for their next activity. New classrooms, dedicated canteen filling ports, and covered areas for training in bad weather are just a few of the new and improved features for Air Force basic trainees in the new ATCs. So the overall campus will be uh, comprised of seven airmen's training complexes, which will house over 1,200 trainees, as well as three dining classroom facilities, which will not only feed, but also uh, instruct. We'll have 16 classrooms in each one of those uh, facilities. The Air Force Civil Engineer Center plays an integral part in managing and overseeing the construction of the new dormitories. AFCAC has a responsibility of designing, managing the designing construction of the Milcom program projects uh, right now currently going on at Lackland. So we basically coordinate uh, all the concerns uh, and responsibilities of all the Air Force agencies involved in making sure the project comes together on time and on budget. The second phase of the project, a duplicate West Campus located across from the East Campus complex, is scheduled to begin construction in 2014. I'm Jason Good, and I'm with the Air Force Civil Engineer Center.